Hello everyone, welcome once again to another Cramsic Reviews and today we are looking at Earthrise Optimus Prime the regular version and the Netflix version so we are going to compare them together as you can see the regular Earthrise Optimus Prime is on the left and the right on the right side of it is the Netflix version okay, so they come with their corresponding boxes as well in different designs but basically they are the same mold but the only difference is the colors and the accessories that come with it as you can see with the Netflix Optimus Prime it's got that darker blue and his eyes is more prominent compared to the Earthrise version he's also his chest is also a bit dull and the top of the grill is not painted but on the waist part the center of the waist is painted yellow whereas the Earthrise is not and when it comes to the legs, there is more complete color in the inside uh, side of the leg compared to the Earthrise version. So as you can see, it's more of a homage to the toy color of the G1, whereas the Earthrise is more in tune with the cartoon color, I think. And as you can see here, even the connecting joints like the elbows, the shoulders, and the inside of the legs is colored blue, whereas the Earthrise is colored gray. And as we look into their gun, the guns, the blasters, um, the Earthrise series is molded in gray and painted black, or dull black, whereas the um, Netflix one is on a solid, very prominent black color. So there, as you can see, the inside of the shoulders is blue as well. And I find that the color of um, Netflix uh, when it comes to the red color is a bit prominent but it's hardly noticeable but there's a difference and looking into the chest part um, as you can see the matrix of leadership it's basically the same except for the insides of the chest the Netflix version is just plain red whereas the Earthrise series has got that silver or gray accent to it so it's more detailed and as you can see in the back part you can see the front wheels the, the Netflix version has got more darker tires or black tires compared to the Earthrise series which has a bit of gray which is not consistent with the rear wheels of the truck mode so yep there are some pros and cons between these two figures but I'm more leaning into the Netflix version so now we are going to look into their accessories if not for the Earthrise Optimus Prime's trailer um, and with, with the Netflix version he's got those two battle masters which is Shield Drone and Anorax Anorax, oh there got those two um, Energon looking figures as you can see here in their alt mode the windshield of Earthrise Optimus Prime has got that blue tint, whereas um, the Netflix version is just kind of the um, regular gray tint to it, even on the side of the windows and on the headlights as well. So basically, yeah, you could still put these um, Battle Masters and attach it on the rear of the truck itself, if you want to put it that way, whatever works for you. Anything works for these guys anyway. So we'll try to attach Anorax uh, to the side, and um, it's kind of giving me a hard time. But it's basically the same five millimeter um, hole peg. So there, you know what I mean. And so now we're looking at the front of the cab. And as you can see here, there's a detail on the top part of the grill with the Earthrise series. Whereas the Netflix um, is just plain red. Um, the fuel tanks, it's a bit of color as well, silver color. And the wheels of the Netflix version is much better, as I've stated before. With that black tires and colored rims as well. So you can also attach the weapon in the back of the cab just like the Earthrise series and they do both um, roll nicely so yeah they could still roll out if you want to 
So now let's try to transform him back to his alt mode to robot mode. So first we fold in those fuel tanks in the legs, bring out the feet and the heel, untab the locking pins and fold them as the knee, knee pads, spread out the wheels and the side panels of the truck outwards so that we could put out the arms, spread them again, spread them wide away from the body and straighten out the legs rotate the torso upper part of the torso rotate the chest bring out the side of the um, sides of optimus prime sorry about the camera that fold the sides of the truck inwards and then the grill into the windshield and then the windshield into the torso and snap him on the waistline and then fold inwards the rear uh, the front wheels and bring out the arms and the hands so there basically we have optimus prime back to his robot mode and there pretty cool colors for this figure i really like it um and then with of course of course with a gun which i usually prefer putting putting him in the back so that he could hold anorax and put the shield on the left part of his arm so he's like he's ready for another for a new adventure with his new weapons and these battle masters for those of you who haven't gotten the add-on weapons like Optimus Prime's axe. I think Anorax would work as his axe as well, which could also transform into a bird. And whereas Shield Drawn, you could also transform him into a robot mode. You just fold the flat side of the back. So now let's try to put some effects like those blast effects. You can also put them with Netflix Optimus Prime and the shield as you can see here just for just to show you guys that it also works there and I'm trying to use my new rotating display so as you can see here um, Optimus Prime doing some like doing some modeling showing himself off and a 360 degree view of himself um it's kind of like he's kind of being vain about it and here he is holding his matrix of leadership same as earthrise optimus prime doing the same pose as well so let's add some music for some dramatic scenes let's play with the figure and then we'll try to also show you how the siege weaponizers could apply or play with um optimus prime can see here he's got six gun and cog to fill in his weapons it's like god genrai kind of reminds me of that but you know i really love what hasbro did when it comes to this gimmick when it comes to the weaponizers and soon to be fossilizers in the kingdom so the playability of these figures you know, you could use your imagination, do whatever you want, and just play with your figure. So if you guys are thinking, do I really need another Optimus Prime? Well, if you ask me, there's no such thing as having too much Optimus Prime. So hopefully you guys enjoy my video review once again. So don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel. And till next time.